to open up our top three goals as Corinthians' Roger Gadges. The Timon's idol scored this beauty in the win against Gallo with a sharp dribble and a blunt shot. Great stuff. In second place, we have this rocket from Guilherme. The Emerald midfielder stripped from way out and gave no chances whatsoever for the keeper. What a shot! Our best goal in round 14 was the set piece taken from Cruzeiro's Machado. Just outside the area, the midfielder finished with perfection, straight into the top corner to give the Foxes all three points against Vasco. Deadly, smooth as silk. Eu sou Lucas Perry e ganhei a defesa da rodada. Acompanhe como foi. The best save award crowned an unbelievable save from Lucas Perry. Botafogo's keeper had already denied the first shot, but it was during the follow-up that he really amazed us. Keno from Fluminense produced the most beautiful skill of the round. The Tricolores number 11 showed tremendous quality to get rid of the defender with this delicate nutmeg. And now it's time for us to pick the top players and the top coach of the fantastic round 14. The best goalkeeper of the match week, Botafogo's Lucas Perry. He had the save of the round and stopped the strong Grêmio's attack. On the right back, Iago Pikachu, the super sub who scored a goal against Atlético Paranaense. Youngsters Murilo of Corinthians. And Matheus Belém of São Paulo are the two center backs. On the left, we'll see Coritiba's Vitor Luiz, who scored his winning goal against América Mineiro. The first midfielder of the round is Botafogo's Eduardo, who scored his team's opener against Grêmio. Who also nailed a golaço is Felipe Machado of Cruzeiro. To close out the midfield for the week, Fluminense's Martinelli scored the Flu's second goal against Inter. Right winger Aleph Manga opened the score against América for Coritiba in the round. Next, two Santos players. We'll see Speedy Mendoza as our best left winger, scored a brace against Goiás who also scored a brace and also provided an assist against the Emeralds, was Menino da Vila Marcos Leonardo, the best striker of the match week. And the best coach of match week number 14, Botafogo's Claudio Caçapa. He helped his side open 10 points of advantage towards Grêmio and Flamengo. Fala rapaziada, sou o Marcos Leonardo e eu sou o craque da rodada, hein? The best player of round 14 was the menino da vila Marcos Leonardo. Santos's number 9 led his team's action in the dramatic win over Goiás, with the first two goals and still provided Mendoza with an assist. A perfect performance from the young superstar. And after the 14th match week, this is how the Brasileirão standings look. Reigning leaders Botafogo now opened up 10 points from Flamengo and Grêmio. Luminense earned two spots and took the fourth position off Palmeiras, currently in fifth. 
Fortaleza in seventh managed to climb four positions after the match week. The second page now starts with the two Atléticos, Paranaense in 11th and the Roosters in 12th. Paulista rival Santos and Corinthians managed to win their games and climbed one position each. And the relegation zone has shifted. Coritiba are no longer the very last team as Vasco and America drop positions. Round 15 of the Brasileirão Açaí has only one match on Saturday. The clash between Botafogo the leaders and Red Bull Bragantino. On Sunday though a jam-packed day of football. In the morning Cruzeiro take on Curitiba at the Mineirão. A while later two derbies, the Fla-Flu and the Sansão. Fluminense and the Flamengo face each other at the Maracanã and the São Paulo Santos go to battle in the Morumbi. At the same time, Fortaleza lock horns with Cuiabá. Internacional Palmeiras, Atlético Paranaense, Bahia and Goiás Atlético Mineiro close up the weekend games. The matches between Corinthians and Grêmio and America and Vasco have both been postponed, with time and date yet to be defined. Folks, this is it for today. We really hope you are having a great time with this edition's Brasileirão. We'll be back next week with more action from Round 15. Thanks for watching. Bye!